Hello and welcome. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Tonight we will continue to explore ancient Rome in this dream induction sleep story. Hopefully this will continue on into your dreams where we can let your sleeping mind take control of the story. Find a safe spot in bed where you are comfy Take one deep breath, focusing on the inhale and then the exhale. Slowly count to ten breaths, one on the inhale, two on the exhale, all the way up to ten. Give the body a light shake to loosen up any tension and let it relax. Let any discomforts fade away. Once again, slowly count to 10 breaths, one on the inhale, two on the exhale, all the way up to 10. Try and be doing something in life that brings you a little happiness. It might only be a small thing, but if you can manage to fit it in every day, something small always has the chance to grow into something big. As always, if you find your mind being distracted by stray thoughts, your servant Marcellus will happily take them from you. So just imagine yourself clearing your mind and storing those unnecessary thoughts in the basket Marcellus carries. He will always be there to help. The main day of the Ludi Augustales festival had finally arrived, with the premiere event being a gladiator fight between two legends. Slaves who had fought for their freedom and created a life for themselves in a dangerous world, coming out on top, free men of Rome. These thoughts bounce around your mind as you dodge between the crowds of people flooding towards the Colosseum. It's a perfect day for the festival. The sun sparkles overhead with just enough cloud cover to keep the air mild. You 
you are nervous about the day ahead because you will be sitting in the Emperor's personal box and may even have a chance to speak to him. Even imagining it sends butterflies fluttering through your stomach. Rounding a corner, your heart skips a beat. The Colosseum rears up before you in all its glory. Crafted from many arches and with the second and third floor filled with impressive statues, it is truly a monument to Roman ingenuity. Crowds flock into the building with all manner of stalls set up outside, hawking wares and food from all corners of the empire. Knowing that the main event won't start for some time, you spy some older gentlemen playing Ludos Lateran Calorum on some cheap stone boards. As one of your favourite pastimes, you excitedly move over to see if you can challenge someone to a game to help fill time and calm your nerves before the big event. Entering the shade of the tent, you watch a grizzled veteran of the Roman legions comfortably finish off dismantling an opponent. The old man turns and makes eye contact with you. A large scar runs down his face from an injury long ago. He must have some stories to tell. He beckons you over and offers up a challenge, which you happily accept. You have been playing this game since you were a child so you consider yourself a strong player. The opening moves are exchanged and you quickly realize it's going to take all your skill to even have a chance of winning. Your opponent always seems to be two steps ahead and before you know it, you realize the game is done. You resign the match, complimenting the skills of your opponent. Returning the gesture, the old man commends you on your game, saying you have potential. Ruefully handing over a few coins and mentally reconsidering your skill, you move off, mind racing, brewing over the game, already thinking about where you went wrong and what you would change if you had your time over. This excitement is what you love about the game. Not much else can get you feeling this passionate. An entrance to the Colosseum stands before you. It's heavily guarded, indicating that the Emperor is already inside. Praetorians line the entrance, red and silver armor glinting in the sun. Past the guards, you approach a clerk, giving your name. He indicates for you to enter and you cross into the darkness of the entrance tunnel. 
heading up to the private box that the emperor and his chosen guests spectate the arena from. You have been invited to attend during the final fight in recognition of what your merchant business has been achieving. Emerging out of the tunnel, you find yourself in the lavishly decorated personal viewing stage of the Emperor. Sitting with his back to you, he is casually sipping wine whilst deep in conversation with a senator. Taking a deep breath to calm yourself, you are led over to a seat in one corner next to a table heaped with fruit and meats, one of the most lavish spreads you have ever seen, nothing less for the emperor. You are handed a cup of wine which you happily take a sip from to help calm your nerves, whilst picking a few grapes off a plate to eat. If the Emperor wants to talk, he will call you over, so you decide just to enjoy the experience of the best seats in the house. Studying the sands below, you see workers clearing off props from the event briar, preparing the arena. The chatter of over 70,000 people fills the air as the Colosseum has reached capacity in anticipation for what is to come. You hear your name called out and see an attendant beckoning you over to a seat next to the Emperor. Smiling as you make your way over and find yourself in conversation with the most powerful man in the known world. You don't contribute much to the conversation But just listen as the Emperor tells you that he is impressed with what you are creating and how you approach your work. He mentions the next set of Senate elections and recommends that you consider entering as you would be a great asset to the political sphere of the Roman Empire. Overwhelmed by the praise, you are saved from responding by the roar of the crowd as the gates one side of the arena open and the gladiator walks out. It's a massive noise that seems to shake the foundations of the Colosseum. The spectators are going crazy. 
for the man who has just emerged onto the sands of the arena, a Spanish slave who had won the hearts of Rome through his string of victories to gain freedom. Coming back for one last fight, he starts a lap around the arena, bathing in the adoration of the crowd. The crowd roars again as the local champion comes out, one of the greatest Roman gladiators of all time. Now, one of the most famous figures in the city. Two undefeated legends of the sport going head to head. One of the most anticipated fights of all time. Both equally skilled, so you are anticipating an enthralling contest. After their laps of the arena, both gladiators face the emperor bowing before him. Sitting this close, you can see the whites of their eyes and the sheen of sweat on their skin. The emperor gives them his blessing and they walk to the middle of the arena. Heart in mouth, you watch on the edge of your seat as the fight unfolds. An enthralling contest ensures a heavily seesawing fight that has the crowd in raptures. It eventually concludes when the Roman disarms the Spaniard and brings him to the ground, sword hovering over his throat. You look across at the Emperor as he sticks his arm out, watching his face not betray any emotion as he holds a man's life in his hand. The crowd yells for mercy for their favourite fighter and the Emperor delivers, turning his thumb up and sparing the man. Crowd roaring, the victorious gladiator does a victory lap as the spectators cheer him on. The Colosseum descends into a lull as everyone comes down from the rush of the fight. You sit in your seat relaxed as people start making their way out of the arena. You are in no rush, continuing to sip on your wine as the Colosseum slowly empties. The Emperor bids you to take his words to heart and moves out, followed by his entourage. You suddenly find yourself alone in the Emperor's personal box. Only Marcellus stands in the corner. You indicate he should eat some of the food that was left behind 
Someone will be around later to clean it up, you assume. Taking some deep breaths, you close your eyes and clear your mind. And the peaceful calm of meditation overtakes you while you sit in the middle of the Colosseum, living in the moment. <laughs>